Did you manage to get much sleep? Me neither. Could have done about Peggy's little scene yesterday. Yeah. I know why you did it, Dad, it's, but... Don't matter. It's done. It's cold last night. No, I know. I just kept wondering if... Yeah, well, just make me a flask of tea, would you, love? I, I want to have a drive around. What do you think? I'm still waiting on an explanation. Yeah. No, I told you. I just forgot to tell you about Harry. Yeah, I've had other things to worry about. And what about all that stuff between your dad and Peggy last night? Well, like I said, it was a much of a shock to me. I don't like being kept in the dark more. No, you're not, really. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I found carers again this morning, no reply. No things at the B&B. Trevor's asking lots of questions. Oh, Murray, you haven't said anything. Oh, of course not. Do you think I'm that stupid? No luck? No. There's always the police. No, no way. I'll start asking too many questions. It was just a thought. We should be getting up the hospital. I'm going to freshen up. Yeah, oh, um, I think one of us should stay here in case Zoe calls. No, I'll stay. Thanks, love. You sure you'll be all right on your own? Yeah, yeah. I'm quite used to it. Cheers, mate. How is she? Still sleeping most of the time. She looks so pale. I reckon she's turned the corner. <laughs> Hello, Princess. How are you feeling? I'm looking after you. We've been listening to the radio, haven't we? That Mark something... Mark Radcliffe? Yeah, I listened to him in the cafe. He's good. You heard him, Dad? No. You know me. I prefer me jazz. Did you get married, then? Don't tell me you cancelled. Get married any time, can't I? Does anyone know? Everybody thinks you're having your appendix out. Hope they weren't around the first time. <laughs> so we're not with you. She did want to come, but um, she got an interview. You always were a rotten liar. She still hates me, didn't she? She's just a bit upset. She'll come round. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. We will. What are you doing here? What's going on here, Dad? We've gone up the hospital. I got fed up sitting on my own. Why don't you go with him? Well, I didn't feel like it. You keep telling me how worried you are about Kat. You don't want to go and see her. Well, I don't want to crowd her. Eight years I've known you, Mom. Do you really think I can't tell when you're lying? Yeah, what can I get you? Any time, now she can't get me.